So I know I'm starting a minute or two early, but I figure if you're hanging around this long to keep listening at App Developer Con, thank you. Um, thanks very much for making this a really awesome and exciting day where I don't think I've been to a KubeCon day where most of the focus has been on not, here's this cool thing that I built, look how it works, but instead on here's how other people will build on top of this cloud native stuff that we have to produce stuff that changes the world. And so um, I'm going to try to get through this so that y'all can get out of here and go see the friends you've been waiting to see or catch the lightning talks or other stuff like that. First of all, I'd like to thank Diagrid and Red Hat for sponsoring this and making it possible to get all of you here. Um, we, we can't do it without you, but we also couldn't have done it without them. Um, and uh, so I was alluding to this earlier. So software has this hierarchy of needs. You need some hardware to run it on. For anything interesting these days, you need some way to connect to it. Um, which probably means some networking or something like that. Um, again, these days, you want to be able to do stuff across multiple computers. It's stuff that only happens on one computer is mostly not interesting anymore, even in your car. Um, so we need some kind of orchestration, some way to make sure that stuff is running in the right places. Then we need to figure out how do we actually get that software we wrote to the place where it needs to be. That's rollout. And then on top of that, we've got some application logic, some stuff that you know, we wanted to actually have happen. So um, that's our hierarchy of software needs. Um, and we talk a lot here at KubeCon as DevOps and IT security practitioners and platform and infrastructure developers about how do we get that in those middle layers of the cake so we can get up to those top layers where applications get developed. Um, and you'll notice that there's a little topper on top of the cake too, which is all of the users of the software that we're hopefully building for. Um, and if we think about it, the actual stack of humans involved doesn't look like this mountain. It looks the other way. So there's a few folks, you know, your cloud providers, some of the folks in your IT and your data centers who are actually physically connecting that hardware, working on the Linux kernel and things like that. More than that, there's people building that next layer above it, building those Kubernetes and those Ciliums and um, the UIs that you use to get resources from your cloud provider and all of that stuff. And then there's even more folks who are using that stuff, who are at your companies provisioning the IT for you we talked about remote developer environments and how, you know, maybe you need a kind of big Kubernetes cluster so you could put a whole bunch of little tiny short-lived development environments on there. So there's more of those folks than there are building the platforms and infrastructure. And that's good, to be clear. Um, and there's more app developers that they're supporting. So this is fanning out. The changes from the hardware are fanning out to the whole world. Um, and layers that we don't talk about much here, but there was someone I was talking to earlier who's like, I'm here, but I'm sorry, I'm not a techie, I'm a product manager. And I'm like, product managers are techies. If you are in this industry, if you know what KubeCon is, you're a techie. Um, but there's a huge number of people who aren't necessarily writing the application code, but who are doing that next level of making it useful. And most of our value is how this software affects the rest of the world, which is why App Developer Con seems like such an important thing to add to KubeCon. Um, because I don't care how cool your Kubernetes operator is. I care, you know, hey, this hospital was able to roll out new imaging software faster or protect patients' privacy better because they adopted Kubernetes and they used your tool to do it. Those are the outcomes that we should be thinking about. And it's too hard right now. How do we get it so that everyone just thinks of cloud native as the default? Um, a lot of people, they're like, 
I'd love to use this Kubernetes stuff, but it's so hard to get a Kubernetes. And if you've been here a while, you're like, oh, I can totally get a Kubernetes. It's so easy. Um, go pick a provider that you're not familiar with and you know, try standing things up there. It's too hard and it changes. We keep making it better and that better breaks all the stuff before. So if you are a platform person here, right now I'm talking to you, we need to be better about supporting those next layers, those app developers, those business analysts, those folks who are trying to figure out, did we make enough sales, you know, of our stuff that, you know, everyone gets bonuses this quarter. They're IT users as well. Um, and students and hobbyists, it needs to be easier for all those people who don't come to KubeCon. And it needs to be easier than your local machine. Um, so we'll be doing this again in Europe and hopefully we will have a bunch of cool new things to make containers, cloud native services, microservices, ephemeral deployments, CI and all that stuff less painful. Um, and if you think you've got some content that you think everyone else should know how awesome this stuff is, um, CFPs are open. Um, they're open for another month or so. So get thinking, put your thinking cap on. If you think you can convince your company to send you to Europe to talk, you know, hey, here's your opportunity. Um, and you can scan the QR code for more information. And if you're still here, thank you. Um, if you could, either the bit.ly link or this, um, we've got a short survey, four questions but it'll help us figure out what's on the agenda for that next app developer con. Tell us, you know, I really loved this talk or, you know, I'd love to see more stuff that was libraries and cool stuff that builds on top of all these cloud native technologies, whatever it is that floats your boat. Um, and then just a couple more administrative things. Um, we're here at KubeCon, we're under the CNCF code of conduct be kind to each other. And there is a co-located event reception in the foyer tonight. So um, we can just wander out there and get food. And I'm going to avoid keeping us much longer so we can all get in that line. Or go find our friends, you know. Thank you. Oh, and is Carlos here? Carlos told me to also say it, that I have a book coming out in December. It feels weird to say that, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for being here.